Yo, what is up guys, Boltrix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we're going to be playing some Ceramic Crucible, so let's hop right into it, and as you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you the best, and I mean the best beginner strat for all beginners in this game, because I've been noticing a lot of people, and a lot of new players have joined the community recently, which is an awesome, awesome thing, and a lot of you are wondering, what's the best strat to start off with, and I'm going to be showing you guys that today, so... Our first opponent we got today is Paulo Mendoza. Definitely has some experience, uh, so hopefully he's not too bad. Uh, but this is CC opponent, so these are opponents that you're most likely going to go up against as well. I mean, if I were you, don't waste all your medallions. If you have 2,000 medallions, don't just hop into Ceramic Crucible. Play in the lower arenas, play some easier people, build up the medallions, and then you will be good. So we're going to start off with Dart Farm wizard wherever the wizard's at okay Woo! we almost missed that i don't really care about our bonus by the way but you want to make sure you use that bonus tower because you have the all the tiers unlocked for that and i know some of you don't even have all the tiers unlocked which is unfortunate but the first tower that you want to unlock tiers for is the dart monkey you want to get the third tier dart monkey definitely because the triple dart monkey is so freaking good i mean so good so obviously you start off with the farm you always 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 start off with the farm and then you build up your dart monkey you always do that you build up the zero one okay you don't have to get the ben more bananas on round one because it doesn't give you any more like it doesn't give you a single extra banana uh so what i do is i always send three sets of reds two sets of blues on round two just to get the equal up going and also uh just to make the opponent panic a little bit uh maybe even force an upgrade sometimes uh so like look right there on paulo it did force an upgrade and since he's not sending on us we don't have to upgrade why upgrade uh, so sometimes I go for the next one zero, other times I go for the plantation, but in this situation I'm going to be going for the plantation because you actually do get an extra banana. I knew I'd, I know I do get uh, late in the round, so I won't get any extra bananas this round, but that's all good, okay? So it doesn't really matter what exactly you go, I mean some people are Nazis about it, but it's all good, it's all good. So we lead quite a bit of lives right there, okay? But there was no... And I mean no reason to use any of our attacks right there. You want to save your attacks for bigger rushes, more vital rushes, more mid-game rushes, like rounds 13 through 18 rushes, or even possibly on mobs, yeah. Uh, so you don't want to use your attacks for like pointless like reds or just, just pointless balloons that are going to leak and not going to kill you. I have 120 lives, guys, okay? And by the way, I don't know why I didn't send this guy pinks. I'm going to send him some pinks because we might just get the... Uh, the fast shooting on him and we did get him to upgrade to the fast shooting okay so right here he's sending us pinks guys so all i'm gonna do is upgrade to a zero one he stopped okay so usually sometimes they don't stop okay and if you're leaking quite a bit of lives upgrade your triple dark but if you're not leaking that many lives then don't upgrade there's no and i mean no reason to but of course for the blacks you got to get up another triple dark you just got to and plus he boosted these at us okay so i don't usually start worrying about my lives until I hit about like 60, that's when I start worrying in just a little bit, okay? But if I were you and you're a beginner, I'd probably start worrying about like around 90, 80 lives, uh, somewhere around there. So I know I'm explaining a lot of things right now, and there's just a lot of information you guys gotta take in. Um, but with me explaining, and just I'm just like forgetting to do stuff, like sending blacks and stuff like that, uh, so he's able to farm efficiently. Not really, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. Uh, so we did get a couple lives leaked off, and then nothing too major. Um, but actually, no, we are off farming. This is a good thing. So on round eight, of course, of course, of course. And you have to have the third tier, guys. If you don't have the third tier, you're not going to be able to use the triple dart monkeys in the beginning, which you will have to use the wizard. Uh, the lightning wizard is just so, so freaking good. But it's just such a big chunk of money early game to where you just want to start off with darts. You just need to start off with darts. They're just so much more efficient, so uh, much more less expensive. So you want to just get those. So since he has no lead detection, of course, we got to send a lead on his side. I'm going to get up our lead detection on our side. I set a zero zero down right there, just in case if you were going to send uh, yellow. So I was going to build up a spike up hole. But fortunately, he did not send anything at us, which is a great, great thing. Uh, so since he didn't uh upgrade to anything major i'm just going to send him a lot of whites and i mean a lot of freaking whites and this is most likely gonna get a boost out of this man or else he's dead oh he might still die yeah that looks pretty bad for my dude yep he died to the white rush just because he was lacking the defenses trying to get up those farms but he was being way way too greedy so gg my friend i'll see you guys in the next one so we're back with the next opponent new nation m 
So he definitely looks like a way more experienced player. It's quite a bit of medallion, so this is a good thing. This is a good thing because sometimes, you know, you get these higher tier players that you go up against and you start to panic, all right? It's not the end of the world, I promise. They're, they're, they're beatable, okay? Um, so if you did notice, I did get an extra win. I'm just not even gonna show the game. Like this guy just built a bunch of zero zero ice towers and let me win. I have no idea why, but whatever. Uh, but we got snowy castle, so we could definitely go this strat. We can go dart whiz farm on this map. And I didn't explain why these are the three best towers. So obviously just dart, just a very, very all around good tower. Uh, especially, like I said, I you need to get that third tier. You need to get the third tier or else it's just gonna be freaking bad. So make sure you get that first. Uh, with the wizard, the second tier is actually pretty good with the lightning upgrade. So that makes it pretty good. And also it's easy to use cam, uh, cheap lead popping power and cheap camel lead popping power. So that is a good thing uh, versus the juggernaut. It's just harder to use. And plus that is fourth tier. Uh, so it definitely does help that you have the wizard and also farming It's just a lot more easier for the beginner to farm instead of uh, Eco for their main source of money. It's just they don't know when to stop ecoing They don't know like about if they can like send rushes because like sometimes people still send rushes and they're ecoing It's just it's just not efficient whatsoever So I would recommend going farms and spamming the fuck out of plantations. I mean spamming the fuck out of those guys Okay, so he did send quite a bit of blues at us, but Right there. I just took all the leaks. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't need to tax those, okay? Like, I, that would just be such a waste of tax. I'm gonna save my tax for a much bigger rush. And also, tax can stop regrows. They they can stop regrows pretty efficiently. So we're actually gonna boost some pinks. I usually don't do this, but I saw him go for his next farm, and I really want him to get the faster shooting, which he might just get the faster shooting. Uh, so that is our goal for him to get the faster shooting. He's going to boost some pinks at us as well. So with him boosting pinks, we're just going to one zero. That's all we want to get, okay? Just a one zero because uh, we don't want to upgrade to the triple dart. We want to try to get in as much money into our farms as much as possible. But he's probably not going to stop sending. He also got the uh, the faster shooting, which is a great, great thing. Wow, right as I upgrade. Oh my god. I was literally about to upgrade to the triple dart just because I did not think he was going to stop sending. But he did, which is a great thing. We got him to upgrade to the faster shooting, which is a great, great thing. And we're going to get our, our next farm. So we got the next farm. And also, see, now I usually would boost blacks, but I already boosted uh, pinks. So I'm not going to waste another blue and boost. It's not really a waste, uh, but I'm not just I'm just not going to use it. So he's going to build up a 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, we're going to send these probably constantly uh, between this round, definitely. Because layered in with the AI, it's just boat struggles definitely so yeah i'm gonna send him a shit ton of these because i want him to upgrade to that second grape shot we got the farms at the same amount of time i mean at the same time that is um he's finally sending us some blacks you need tr two trip darts to defend against blacks and layered in with the round seven ai blacks you need th uh two trip darts and also a zero zero but that's fine okay so guys i'm going to prepare for yellow so what i'm gonna do is put this on last okay and if he does send yellows, I want to upgrade to the three zero spike of pole. Don't ever, and I mean ever, if you go the spike of pole route, don't ever upgrade on the right side. It does nothing, absolutely nothing to your tower. So it's just literally a waste of money. Um, so unfortunately, we got the bad side of farming. We're not going to be able to place this. It's, I think it is impossible on mobile. Uh, so that is pretty rip. Um, so we probably could have mixed eco a little bit harder because we can't farm efficiently on this map. But that's all good. It's all good, guys. So it looks like he is sending us some space whites. I don't know why. I'm going to build up our wizard for our lead popping power, of course. And uh, since he just went for that republic. Did you guys see that? He just went for that republic. I'm going to send him a rush. Send him a rush just immediately. And I mean immediately, immediately on round 11, send those whites. Because it will most likely get a boost out of him. It most likely will. That's just a lot of whites, so he's going to have to boost it. Yeah. He might actually die still. Because he still doesn't even have a lightning. What... What the hell is he sending on our side, by the way? Okay, so I'm going to get this up because I don't know what the hell he's sending. He's just sending a, quite a bit of balloons at us. Uh, so he will die to a rerush, definitely, 100%. So what we're going to do is just all at him right here uh, because there's just no way. Oh, he's going to boost a rush at us too? We're going to be able to defend that rush, actually. Uh, so he is definitely, and I mean definitely, that GG. You guys want to try to end your games really, really early because... It's, it's good for grinding. Also, most people just can't defend mid-game rushes, especially in the lower end arena. So 
Honestly, not a bad idea to just all out round 13 every single time. Most people will not be able to defend in like Rainbow Ruins, White Wasteland. Nobody, like most people can just not defend. But if the guy looks better, then just don't do that. Try to take him later, I guess, or just try to kill him with the Sneaky Rush, maybe a mob. Just there's so many options, guys. But I'll see you guys in the last one. So we are back with the last opponent's I'm 12. Probably the most superior opponent that we have had today because he has not too bad of a record. And... Quite a bit of medallions, just like the last guy, so that's a good thing. And he's pointing a finger at us. I don't know why, uh, but we don't want this map. The reason why is just because it's too long, and usually people go late game on this. And Dart Farm Wiz, I mean, yes, it can kind of go late game, but it's not the greatest late game strat. So this is a more preferred map. Cards, oh, but he did skip. That's unfortunate. Battles, oh, Battle Sands, a great, and I mean a great uh, map for Dart Farm Wiz. This like, this is one of the best maps for the strat. Uh, so, we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty sure we're going to win. Um, but, yeah, so hopefully you just take, take in all the information that I told you guys. And, you know, just enhance it and put it into your gameplay. You know, do your own style, too. You don't have to copy me uh, with exactly everything I do. There's a lot of different styles out there. And just people get used to doing certain things. Like, for example, I always send... Three sets of reds, two sets of blues on round two. I just always do, unless they're going eco. Uh, so you don't have to do that, okay? You don't have to if you don't want to. Those are like just minor things. But the major things are like just obviously go this strat and um, for certain rounds build up certain towers, stuff like that, etc., etc. Uh, so it looks like we're actually going to mix eco. We're going to mix eco on this map. And the reason why I'm going to start to mix eco on this map is because you can't anti-stall too much on this map. And usually people just don't upgrade to the trouble dart, but he did actually. So you only want to mix eco when you cannot anti-stall. And if you guys don't know what anti-stall is, literally, anti-stall, the opposite of stall. Meaning you don't pop the balloon. Okay, so if you anti-stall, you pop the balloons as soon as they come out the map. If you stall, obviously you wait for the balloons to come out the map, then you pop them once they're through the map quite a bit. Uh, so anti-stall is just um, pretty good when you are going against eco and you are farming because then they're just going to get less income boost by the way with these boosted pinks put your dart on last it's pretty op it's pretty op so what our goal is right here is to get him to get that second treble dart we want him to get that second second treble dart by the way i should have built up a one zero a long time ago but it's all good so we got up the second treble dart which is a great great thing okay we leaked down to 67 lives not too good not looking too hot that was my fault because I was just explaining stuff. Whenever I start to go really, really in-depth to things, I just forget about the gameplay a little bit, so I do apologize about that, but it's good. It's fine. We still got three sets of attacks. I believe that he used one set of attacks, and he's also down to 77 lives, uh, so he is struggling a little bit. So with Mixed Ecoing, I'm going to boost round six screens at him because I know he wants to go for the next farm. I know he freaking does. See? He did. Exactly. It just It's perfect timing, man. It's perfect timing, and it might even get a boost out of him might even get a boost and boosted greens are pretty op and then obviously you want to layer in some green i mean pinks behind that and it will do some damage definitely it will definitely do some damage uh so he did leak quite a bit of lives right there mm. wishing he would have leaked more but it's all right it's all good because we got the eco up on our side we have a huge and i mean huge eco advantage i mean he probably i mean definitely okay so whoa okay yeah yeah so I'm going to send him more greens just because he sold that. I noticed that he sold that, so that's not a smart move. Uh, but he got the spot up, so good good job. Good job on that one, man. Uh, we are just greeting the fuck over on our side because he has not forced anything yet. But he is down 258 lives. He's going to boost uh, yellows at us. So what we're going to do is boost this. We need to boost this. Like, there's boosted yellows. Okay, so that's, that's a fine boost. If they balloon boost a rush at you and you have to boost, that's okay. It's not the end of the world, not by any means. Like, So we did upgrade to the next farm. I think he's not going Dart Wiz because he's building up that spike pole. So we can actually greed here just a little bit because we have the cheap lead popping power. So let's get up our Wiz, okay? Got up the Wiz. He has a sniper or something. He must. Yeah, he does. Okay, so if he upgrades to the next farm, then we send him a quick rush. Looks like he's not. Okay, yeah, he's not. So we're going to upgrade to our next farm. And it looks like he may be saving up for a rush. I'm feeling a rush right here, guys. So let's get up some camo detection. Let's also get up a lightning. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is he sending me? What is he sending me? Oh, he's sending me pretty big white rush, but we're going to be able to defend uh, pretty easily. And he's going to send some zebras behind that. 
So that did absolutely nothing. And we're going to layer in a rush within, within the round 14 AI. And it's not even going to be that big of a rush. This is what I usually do for rushes. And whoa. Okay, wait. Wow. Okay, so he has a sniper. Yeah. Whoa. What is he boosting at us? He's just boosting something. And he just... Whoa. Okay, so... I probably didn't need to boost that. I was just pretty scared. So if he re-rushes, we get up a Super Monkey Fan Club. 100%. 100% get that up. And by the way, we can put this on first. We should have put that on first a while back. Um, but since he has that sniper, we're not going to be able to do too much to this guy. Okay. Okay, so he's sending us quite a bit of these. Quite a bit. So that's why I sold a farm. So we were able to defend. It's okay if you have to sell a farm for rushes. I mean, that was a pretty hefty rush. A pretty freaking hefty rush. Uh, so I'm fine with that. Camel Ceramic, I'm guessing. Okay, no, just a regular Ceramic. That's interesting people just don't usually send those okay so we have we have a huge advantage on this guy i mean this guy's farms are really lacking right now and also his defenses are lacking um i think yeah he has a sunny auto sniper he has to have a semi auto sniper so we gotta watch out for moab of course this round okay so i like how we are going a little little bit more late game during this uh because i can show you guys a couple of things and tricks and tips of course uh but we're gonna send some leads behind this definitely because he will probably struggle did need to boost so that's a great great thing he actually might die it's looking pretty bad so we're gonna have to boost this which is okay that's okay that we had to boost that that was our last boost though i'm thinking he's out a lot of boost too and he tries to upgrade to the next farm no you just don't do that you don't do that i'm gonna re-rush you with a boosted mob so it's just not looking good for him he's probably he, mo he most likely will die to this most likely because layered in with those leds ai too oh which is not looking good for him yeah he's dead he is 110 percent dead to the moab the boosted moab so gg my friend i hope you guys did enjoy that i know i did like stutter and stuff a couple of times just because i was spewing so much information uh but definitely drop a like if you did enjoy and also if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section um, I would love to answer as many questions as possible. If I forgot something or if you guys just want to know something, let me know down in the comment section below. So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, what is my second favorite tower? And the answer is the banana farm. So this guy won. Congratulations, man. Yes, it's banana farm. I know it can't pop anything, but you know, it's my source of money, man. It's my source of money and I just love it. I love it so much. So congratulations, man, on your shout out. Next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, I'm eating a food right now and it's cheesy. What is the food? Make sure to leave your answer down below in the comment section. You may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I'm going to wrap the video up here, boys. It's been your boy, Bull Tricks. Peace out, everybody.